Hi, welcome back to the Gym Box. My name is Shelly, and today we're gonna do a 30 minute core class. Today I'm gonna use a dumbbell. I just have a five pounder. If you need to grab a, grab a can of soda pop, or even a bottle of water, that would work too. We're gonna start just laying down on the floor, and we're gonna start with a lot of crunches. Get your core nice and warm. Hands are gonna be behind the head, and we're gonna start nice and easy, up and down. Now let's go over basic techniques of a crunch. You definitely want the stomach to be flat. You never want it to pooch. If you're gonna have a pooch in your stomach when you're doing crunches, you're gonna build a pooch, okay? So unless you want that, keep the stomach nice and flat. Hands are resting behind the head and the head is just cradled in your hands, okay? Now when you lift, you're lifting your body, not just tugging on your head like this, okay? Make sure those shoulders are lifting up off the floor. Feet flat on the floor, about hip distance apart. Super flat. Exhale when you lift. Two. Good, you're gonna take one leg up. You're gonna stop at 90 and then stretch. Okay, right when we do that crunch, everything meets in the middle. Don't bring your knee past this 90 degree spot. If you do come to here, you're gonna be resting a little bit. Same leg, cross it over. Opposite elbow is gonna come up to the knee. Now I'm resting my other arm on the floor. That's gonna make it so I can rotate and use those obliques a little bit more. Other side, let's pull it in. Exhale to lift. Stop at that 90, make sure you're flat. Cross it over, opposite elbow comes to your knee. Again, the arm is out to the side, nice and flat. You got four, three, two, and one. Good, both feet back down, crunch. Hands behind the head. Let's slow it down, you're gonna go slow up, and down, up. Now, while we're doing this, I want you to imagine you have a little piece of fruit underneath your chin. Maybe a mushy peach or an orange, okay? Because you don't want to jam it and have juice coming down your shirt, okay? You want to just be able to hold it there. Good, let's take both legs up. Crunch and down. Flat through the stomach. Couple more like this. Good, we're gonna add some arms to it. You're gonna come up, reach, and down. Perfect, four more if you wanna challenge yourself. Extend your legs at the top. Try to touch your toes, or even grab your big pink shoelaces, like mine. One more. Good, moving on to obliques, you're gonna tip to the side. Okay, now you have a few options. You can keep your knees on the floor, but I like to actually lift one knee up. This way you can square your shoulders off a little bit better to isolate the internal and external obliques. So try it with me. Just open that top leg a little bit. Crunch up towards it. Exhale. Flat through the stomach still. So still think about sucking in. Now, bottom elbow is gonna come to your top knee, extend it back out. Come to the top knee, extend it back out. I want you to imagine you're folding your stomach in half. Fold it in half. Let's go a little bit quicker. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, nice work. Let's roll over to the other side, okay? So we're gonna set your knees down, square up the shoulders, open up the top knee, crunch it up. Lift that body. All right, let's slow down. Bring the bottom elbow to the top knee. Kick it out. Bottom elbow to top knee. Two more slow. Exhale. Double time. You got eight of them. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, come back to the middle. Crunch it out. Hopefully, you're on fire, okay? Your abs should be burning. Come on, we're almost done with the warm up. <laughs> Hang on, a little higher. Four, and three, two, and one. Good, you're gonna reach to the side. Someone's grabbing your hand to help you sit up. Come on, right there, reach. Past your knee. Eight more, eight, seven, stomach still flat. Four, three, two, one. Woo, legs are gonna kick out straight. Crunch. Oh, okay, lower abs. They're turning on right now. Flatten through the stomach. Keep crunching. Switch feet, other foot on top. All right, feet down, you're gonna crunch up and hold right here. You're gonna lift and drop. Chin is in. Lift the heel, tap it back down. Option, drop your head, keep lifting. Okay, still working through the core here to stabilize the body and lower abs are lifting that leg, okay? Perfect, we're gonna roll over to your stomach. You're gonna hit a hover for me on your elbows. Try to keep your hands apart. If you're here, this is a little bit easier. Okay, so ideally, I want you here. Shoulder distance apart. Glutes are tight, your body's one flat plank. So pull it through the belly, chin is in, hold it here. Now we're gonna do a little challenge. You're gonna walk up to a push-up position. Walk back down. Walk up to a push-up position. Now the tendency is gonna be <laughs> to dance with your hips a little bit, okay? Try to keep them still. Other arm's gonna start. Other arm first, back down to the elbow. Arm, arm, elbow, elbow. One more. Hold it here. Strong. Take your shoulders down away from your ears. When you get tired, a lot of us like to sink. Okay, pull up nice and strong. Squeeze the glutes. Woo, one foot comes up, point the toe. Hold it. Hips are square, try not to open up at all. Okay, keep it square. Other side, point the toe. Hold it. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Woo, chest up. Push your hips into the floor. Little bit of a breather. Great, okay. We're now gonna come up to on all fours. I'm gonna face you so you can see what's happening. Okay, about hip distance apart with the knees. Shoulder distance with the hands. We're gonna come up to what we call a pointer. Okay, so your right arm is out and your left leg is out. Staying square, again, try not to open the hip. The hips are square to the floor. Good, switch sides, take it up. Nice and long, chin is in the chest. Pull out of that bottom hip. A lot of us like to sink a little bit. Okay, pull out of the hip. Other side, take it up. This time I want you to bring your thumb up to the ceiling. And if you feel comfortable, we're gonna add some movement. We're gonna open to the sides, just a little bit, and pull it right back in line. Do that again, open to the sides. Pull back in line, other side. Set it up, shoulders are down. Lengthen, thumb is up to the ceiling. Open. Back in line. Do it again, open. Back in line. And in. We're gonna do it again, add a different variation. So here at the top, 
I'm gonna bend my elbow and my knee and then kick it all the way back out. Okay, try it. Bend it in and extend. Good, two more on this side. Bend and extend. Again, bend. Woo, stabilize. Lots of core strength working here. Other side, take it up and hold. Bend the elbow, bend the knee. Take it back out. Three more, bend. Extend. Two. And one. Perfect, back down, stretch it out. Just sit on your heels, reach the hands forward, nod the chin in. Woo. Excellent, okay now, we're gonna go to a push-up position again, and I want you to jack your feet out and in, okay? Keep your hips still, and your glutes are down in line with the shoulders. Just get that heart rate going a little bit more. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it open, one. Now from here, you're gonna pull one knee into your opposite elbow, bring it back down. Other side, bring it back down. Knee comes in. Now, obviously on this one, your hips are gonna twist a little bit. That's totally fine. Knee in and down. Shoulders should be getting tired. Core is working here, obliques. Perfect, jack it out, here we go. In and out. Come on, stay with me, I know you're tired. Hang on, eight to go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up on your feet, okay? I want you to grab your dumbbell or your water bottle, can of pop, can of soup, whatever you got kicking around in the fridge, okay? That should probably work too. So soften your knee, hip distance apart. You're gonna take one hand behind your head and we're gonna drop this weight to the side. Straight side and up. Avoiding coming forward at all. So a side profile, straight side. What you don't want to do is that, okay? Straight side, that way we're gonna keep it in the obliques and out of your back. Let's double time this. Here we go. Down and squeeze. Focusing on this opposite side. Rib coming to your hip. Minimize that space. What do they call it, a muffin top? Squeeze the muffin top if you got one. Come on, we're gonna whittle it away. Soften the knees. Exhale to lift. Four, three, two, one, switch it up, go slow, down, and up. If this isn't heavy enough for you, get something heavier, okay? You decide. As long as you're not feeling this in your back at all, you're fine to go a little bit heavier. Again, you wanna keep the front of the stomach tight, and down, and up. You got two more. And down. Here we go, double time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. We're gonna come back to those, but first you're gonna grab on with both hands, whatever you're holding, okay? You're gonna come down to your right foot. You're gonna keep your eyes on the dumbbell as you come up and over the head and then all the way down to your other foot, okay? Now, eyes on the dumbbell, all the way up over the head to the foot. If you feel really comfortable doing this, you could be doing one of two things. You're cheating, okay? Cheating would be looking at me, okay? I want you to listen to me. Eyes stay on the dumbbell, fixed on the dumbbell. If you're looking at me, then you're cheating, okay? Because it's a lot easier, okay? Now, second, this is still too easy. 
You can challenge yourself by standing on an unstable surface. One thing I really like to use for this is standing on a BOSU, okay? You can stand on that. Maybe a pillow. You could try standing on a pillow. Keep looking at the dumbbell. Couple more. All the way up above your head. And down. All the way up above the head. And down. Perfect. Come back to the side bends. You got one more set on both sides. Okay, you're dropping to the knee and squeezing. Exhale. Where are you squeezing? Right there, the muffin top. Come on. Deeper and pull. Deeper and pull. Eight. Seven. Six. And five. And four. Three. Two. Other side. Here we go. 16 of them. Tip and pull. Think of shaving the side of your leg with that dumbbell, okay? Nice and close to the body. Stomach tight, squeeze your glutes. You got eight, and seven, and six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, we're gonna take it back down to the floor, okay? So get rid of your weight, and we're gonna start with some side planks, okay? So you're gonna bend your bottom knee, your top leg is gonna come forward, you're gonna come to your elbow and pop your hips up. Now, level one, you can actually stay on your bottom knee, okay? Just make sure that bottom side is lifted, you got a nice long line here. Level two, you're gonna come up to that split leg position, always having the top leg forward, okay? And again, we wanna pull not up nice and strong through the shoulder, try not to sink into it, okay? And try to open up the arm. Pull up through that hip. Level three, if you want even more work, you can stack your feet. Pull up strong through that shoulder. Try to stabilize, hang out here. We're working all those core muscles, the stomach, the glutes, the back, all of them working together. Keep lifting. Imagine someone just tied a harness around your waist and they're yanking you up to the ceiling. Lift up, lift up. Good, you're gonna add a tap and lift. You can take this top hand behind your head. This is too much work with stacked feet. Come back to the split leg. Or again, you can do this on one knee. Okay, you got levels, you got eight to go. Eight, seven, six, Five, so good for whittling down that waistline, especially through the oblique. And one, woo, awesome, relax. You're gonna sit up here, stretch. Oh yeah, hopefully you feel the nice burn through the side. I'm gonna go into the other side now. Good, okay, so other side. <clears throat> Bottom knee can stay bent. Your top leg is gonna be scissored forward. On your elbow, pop the hips up. Okay, feel that harness yanking you up to the ceiling. Pull the shoulder down away from the ear. Level two, come up to both feet. Stay strong through the shoulder. Level three, woo, right here. You may notice you have a stronger side, okay? Totally normal. Because we don't always carry things on both sides, okay, like me with my 10-month-old baby who weighs 20 pounds. Tend to hold them on my right side, so I'm a little bit stronger on my right side, okay, meaning my left obliques are actually a little bit stronger. Pull them up. Okay, we're going to add the taps. When you're ready, remember, use your levels. You can come back to the split leg position or even the bent knee position. A few more. Four. Three, two, and one. Excellent, relax, woo. Sit like a mermaid or a merman and stretch right here. Open up, nice and long. Those are so excellent, I love those. Woo. 
All right, moving on to our next exercise, you're gonna grab a dumbbell, okay? Or again, whatever you're holding works fine. I'm gonna move my towel. Now, I want you to set up on all fours. You're gonna have this under one hand. Okay, I want you to just start here with a row. Keep the hips square down to the floor. Squeeze up through the back. Now, you say, we're in core class, why are we doing this, okay? Well, you're actually working your core quite a bit. Just keep your hips square. A lot of us will start doing all this movement, okay? Keep everything still. Couple more, just get it warmed up. Now, we're gonna hit, you guessed it, a plank, okay? So here, hip distance with the feet, glutes tight, go into that row. Oh, just got harder. Come on, what do you wanna do here? You wanna open your hip, but don't do it. Woo! Oh, eight, seven, whose idea was this? Oh, come on, four to go, four, Three, two, one. Down to your knees. Switch hands. Set it up. Row. Just get it warmed up. Woo. Catch your breath, because that was tough. And we have to do it on your other side. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two. Oh, here it is, plank. Set it up, shoulders down. Squeeze your glutes, lock in your stomach. Here we go, row it up. Push that hip down. If you're rowing with your right arm right now, it's your right hip you gotta concentrate on staying down. Square to the floor. Four to go, come on, four. Three, two, oh, relax. Wow, that was fun. Should we do it again? <laughs> Let's do an, a variation of that, shall we? Okay, so you're gonna come back here. You're in a row. This time, you can open. You're welcome, okay? Open up, bring it in, bend the elbow, control it down. So I'm back to that beginning plank position. Do it again, you're in a row. Rotate and open. Just like we did in that side plank. Bring it in, back down. That bottom hip is lifted. Now, you can see you don't want to be too heavy on your dumbbell. I just have five pounds here. It's plenty of work for me. Because remember, you're holding your body weight up as well. Pull, open, fold, set it down. Two more. Fold, set it down. One more. Woo! If those don't make you feel cool and strong, I don't know what will. Here we go. Other side. We're gonna pull it up into the body. You're gonna rotate to the back wall, open up, fold it in, bring it down. Do it again. Up. Open, in, down. Now, are you shaking? Shaking is actually a good thing. You're challenging your muscles differently, okay? That's what we want. Change the way you work out so you see a change. Four to go. Three. And two. And one. Woo! Bring it in. Oh, excellent. Stretch it out here. Get rid of that dumbbell. We're gonna go back to some crunches, okay? Working the front of your stomach, the rectus abdominis. Okay, so kind of how we started. On your back. Don't get tangled up in your mat here. Oh, don't lay down on your mic either. Doesn't feel good. 
Okay, we're gonna take one knee bent, one arm extended, and the opposite leg is extended. So take your right arm above your head and your left leg straight, okay? You're gonna take the other hand behind the head. You're gonna come up, tap your toe, lengthen back down. So we got opposite hand to the foot. You're gonna crunch and lengthen. Again, you can vary this by laying on a BOSU, okay? Whatever you want. Or you can even throw a weight in your hand to make it that much more difficult. Four more, four. Back to those principles we talked about at the beginning of class. Keep the chin in. Belly stays nice and flat. That is if you want a flat stomach. If you don't want a flat stomach, don't worry about it. Here we go. Up and down. Tap the toe. Try to meet in the middle. Four more. Opposite hand to foot. Three. Almost there, come on, two. And one. Oh, hands behind the head, back to crunches, up and down, chin in. We started with a nice burn in the stomach, right here. We're gonna end with a nice burn. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. That's why we're doing it. Come on, eight more, higher, eight. And seven. Four, three, two, you're gonna come up, push through the middle. You gotta pull. Chin is in. Reach. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Back to that side to side combo we did at the beginning of class. Side to side. Reach past your knee. Reach past it. Two. And one, okay, legs are gonna come up. We're gonna work your lower abdominals, okay? This is called, or these are called, heel digs. Very important that your lower back is flat on the mat or on the floor, okay? Lock in tight here. The more you lengthen, the more weight that's gonna be added onto those lower abdominals. Stop the legs at 90 degrees, pull it in. Good, hands behind the head. We're gonna rotate, back in. Rotate, back in. Rotate. Keep going. Now, slow and controlled is better than going fast and doing high repetition. Why? You're working every single muscle because you have time to think about it. Engage those muscles. Two more. Rotate. Rotate. That was one. I meant to say two on each side. And last one. Woo! Oh, you got it. We're gonna take your legs up. Cross at the ankle. We're gonna lift the hips. Okay, this is a reverse curl. Lift and release. Now, we want to avoid a lot of rocking, okay? Like that. Try not to do that, okay? I want you to think of lifting more up than anything, okay? So it's just a lift of the hip and lower. Lift of the hip and lower. Lower abdominals, turn them on. Transverse abdominals, all those belt muscles that hold your stomach nice and flat. Exhale, lift. And up. And up. Let's switch feet, other foot on top. Go exhale. And exhale, straight up to the ceiling. Just a couple more. Two. And one. Woo! Awesome, you guys. Take your knees into your chest. And take a deep breath. Oh, great work today. All right, you're gonna rock up, roll over to your stomach. Let's stretch out the abdominals again, okay? Now, this is gonna be the most stretch you can get in this position. If this is too much, you got a bad back or shoulders, you can actually walk your hands out 
to make it work for you, okay? Or you can even come to your elbows. Just whatever you do, pull the chest up, dig the hips into the floor. Perfect. Sit back on your heels. Lengthen out. Shell stretch is what this is called. You're gonna round through the back. Good, on your knees, you're gonna face me. You're gonna take it up and over. Open up. Push your hips to the opposite wall. Look at the ceiling. Good, up and over to the other side. Push the hips to the opposite wall. Stretch out those obliques. Reach the arm. Good, you're gonna take your hands to the floor. Stand up on your feet. Walk your hands into your feet. Hug your legs. Release through your back a little bit more. And slowly roll up through the spine. Nice and easy. Rotate. You guys did an excellent job today. Hopefully I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for joining me.